Welcome to Fallout 76. War. War never changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting is stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. church to the responders for their outpost here, and, uh, you're welcome. The responders are on a true mission, you see, helping folks through thick and thin, until the heavens open up again and take us all up anyways. When this all happened, I figured like most, it was time. This was the end, but, but it wasn't, was it? We're still here. At first, I thought it was a mistake, that we was missed, forgotten. Maybe we did some wrong. Didn't give enough to charity, maybe. Didn't praise his name, even in the worst of times. Maybe thought some things that ought not to have been thought. So I asked him. I asked how? Why? I fought your wars on Earth. I'm ready to fight them up there by your side. Then, in my despair, I saw some survivors eating raw rat carcass behind a dumpster. <laughs> you oughta cook that first, I warned them. Seems obvious. We tried, but got sick, they said, covered in their own filth. I realized right then and there that I was being tasked. From then on, I built kitchens, cooked good food, Fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly. And I was thankful for my task in life. Thankful. <laughs> Next time hell or high water land in my stoop, I'll be swept clear away with it. But until then, let's share a home cooked meal together, alright?
fucking business escape to end. Oh shit. Uh. Oh, I remember this. I can't, I don't think I can, I can't go there yet. That's in the place, I can't go there yet. So. We won't do that just yet. Because getting there, we're gonna, it's gonna take a lot of, a, a lot of stuff, so. Listen to, oh, uh, okay, listen. Listen to Overseer's Diary. Jeez, I'm over comfort right now. So let's let's go ahead and walk. Let's go ahead and uh, walk it. We'll go we'll go to that one place that we need to get to, and um, we'll go off and scrap all of this. And yes, y'all. I know. Uh, I know. I've been live streaming for almost three hours now. I think three. Damn, three hours and thirty-eight minutes. I don't give a shit. Had to be like that, assholes.
over my head. We're building something big me. here. Don't get left behind. Do you think I'll make the cut? Scrap. Actually, let's I'd repair some things here.
Excuse me. Uh, uh hold on just for a second, let's see what kind of weapon. Oh, we ain't got no weapon equipped. <laughs> Okay, uh, as there is a uh, pump, okay, shell, okay, shot on uh, shotgun shells. Shells is what I need to craft. And we have them in here. Yeah. Okay, so I ain't got nothing to do that. Do we? No.
I'm okay. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm home. Sorry it's been so long, but I... I couldn't get away. I know neither of you is around to hear this, but I miss you. I miss watching Dad grade papers on the living room table. I miss the three of us huddled around the radio, listening to the silver shroud. Dad, you were right about what living underground would really be like. Twenty-five years locked in with the same people was a challenge. But watching them pair up, get married, have children, well, I think I got to know a little bit of what you and Mom were always telling me. Well, since I'm doing this whole trip down memory lane, maybe a walk over to the old high school is in order. <laughs> uh, it's right there in the hair in the hair, you know. You would do that. God damn it. Okay, it's an optional. And kill and kill the gang leader or convince the gang leader to leave. To leave the oak uh, okay. So we have to go there now. Oh yeah, we can fast travel here now. Figures. Okay, let me do this in. Let me go to the workbench and we'll scrap down what we have.
But it didn't have to be that way.
I'm here to talk to your boss. I'd like to join your. Uh, Don't take it strays. Unless someone gave you the password, you can take a hike. Blue sun. Sun. Boss is in the main building. I wouldn't keep it. I guess that was a password. Yes, that was the password. Pop. Those mutant things that were here before thought they were tough stuff. Almost kind of sad. Hey, Gen Pop. I smell? <laughs> Wash these clothes like three times. I still think they reek of mutant blood. heard from batter suspects he finally managed to get himself killed <laughs> batter was a long shot anyway always figured it'd take someone coloring with a full box of crayons to find us our prize <sighs> you the one with the password presume someone gave it to you because they thought you could be useful name's roper now explain to me why the hell you're taking up my hair I want you to leave the sun alone. I want to join your crew. And I want a diamond studded vertebrate. So I guess that means we're both left wanting something. Explain to me why you should get yours. I'm strong. I may. Hmm, couldn't hurt to have another bruiser around, but there's only one thing I'm looking for right now. I presume you've heard about this treasure a Mr. Crane has been hunting. You bring me that, then we can see about you joining up. Okay, I'll bring you the Crane's treasure. What the hell, uh, what can you tell me about this treasure? Rumor I heard is, it's survivalist Shangri-La. Whole storehouse filled with food, ammo, guns, medicine. Don't have to worry where your next meal's coming from, or if your hair is gonna start falling out from drinking from the wrong well. <laughs> <laughs> Make whoever found it a real presence in the neighborhood. Okay, I'll bring you Crane's treasure. That's the spirit. Now get! My people shouldn't bother you while you're doing this for us. So long as you don't bother them. Oh, I won't bother them as long as they don't bother me. 
Wait, wait, I'm taking it. I'm taking your shit. <laughs> I'm actually taking their shit and they don't give a damn. <laughs> I'm taking their shit and they don't give a damn. Hey, junkie. How about, how about I fuck you up right here and now? I'll take all of it, every single one I'm getting. I'm kidding. <laughs> I better get the fuck out of here before they go ahead and before they try to do attack me. Let me see if I can go in there and scrap this shit. Let's go back in here and scrap this crap. Hopefully we can. Don't shit. Do anything stupid. Don't shit. No fucking shit, you fucking bitch. And you know what? You're not even that good looking at all. <laughs> You're only a face only a mother could love. <laughs> oh, I wonder, do they have a working bench up here I can, I can use? Yeah. Hey, how about that? Okay. Let's see if I have some shit I don't need. Like that. Damn lucky you showed up when you did. Hope you can't be. <laughs> well, that I didn't hear that. <laughs>
You're back. You managed to get those punks out of our hair yet? I worked at, I worked out a deal with them. We and we just have to tell them where the treasure is. Oh, is that all? <laughs> I guess I should have specified how I would have liked this to be resolved. I suppose it's on both our heads to find this treasure then. But you did good. Shows maybe you could be trusted. Maybe. But there's still the issue of my missing muscle. They went out chasing some unsavory characters. Never came back. They're two of the tougher cookies I've met in my day. So them being gone this long means something happened. You track them down? Maybe I remember a thing or two about this crane fella. Sure, I'll find uh, your people. Uh, what can you tell me about uh, the folks uh, have uh, they've gone missing? Well, missing person number one's named Polly. Got a transmitter in her. You could track her with your little radio there. Missing person number two goes by Saul. Those two are closer than toes and bad stilettos. So if you find one, the other's likely close by. Find them for me, and I'll pay you for the privilege of getting to yell at them in person. You mean Jigsaw? <laughs> so, yeah, a transmitter in here? Yeah, a little something I slipped under her exterior plate in case she got carried off. I did mention she's a combat bot, right? A friendly one. I got her reprogrammed when I bought her, so she's not gonna hurt you. Unless they bashed up her combat inhibitor. Well, then, all bets are off. I made the same offer to Saul regarding the tracker under his exterior, but he declined. Go figure. Any idea where they are? Where they're at? Where they went? What's your pain? What can you tell me about these uh, things your people wear and wear after? They're called the Scorched. They're an unpleasant bunch in character and appearance. They've got raw skin with crystals sticking out of them. And they're still real handy when it comes to firearms and bludgeons. So you'll want to be careful around them. That's for damn sure. <laughs> thanks for him. Thanks for the hand, gentlemen. Not the foggiest, but that's where the transmitter comes in. Tune to her station, and it should get you going in the right direction. Appreciate it. Polly's tracking frequency is 99.7. The once proud home of Appalachia's smooth jazz. I figured someone should get some use out of it. Find out what happened to him. If I need to find new people, I'd like to at least ensure I tried to do right by the old ones. Now let me guess. You sound bitch. Okay, let's go outside then. Maybe you can tell me where where it's at. <laughs> Name's G Day. Oh, well, no, that's not what I wanted.
and Pet Boy Radio to Transmissions. Oh my god. I know where we're going now. <laughs> 